There's a brother seen coming onto the field now, led by Trevor Bailey. Good effort from Bailey, the captain of this side, full of plenty of experience and good players, and Bailey, of course, one of the most respected players in the club. Very good side, this brother's side, and that's one of their better players. Robert Grogan, he's 24 years of age, he's a centre for brothers. He started his football career with North Asprey. He joined brothers as a 15-year-old, he played his junior football with teammate Shane McElwain and Trevor Bailey, and of course, reserve grader Craig McAlpine. He played Queensland under-18 football, and he talked up his 100th game in the last match of the season. He's enjoying his best season ever. Referee for the match is Eddie Ward, Tim Dwyer of Brothers to start play. Brothers on the left running from the southern end of the ground against the northeasterly breeze in this the first half. As it goes down to Belcher, the fullback. Now south to the favourites. Brothers, three and a half point start. We can just overhear from the crowd in the outer. Probably a fair indication too, this one, uh, Arthur, that uh, point start, because South, as I said, they've got the experience there, and they've got those big men, and we saw in the match the last time they played, it was Meskel and Phelan who really took it to the smaller brothers' pack. And that's Phelan taking it up there. Uh, South's about 15 metres out from their own line. Not a, a strong breeze, but nevertheless, they do have the assistance of this northeasterly breeze in the first half, with Gary French, the 5'8", putting it over the halfway mark, and Joe Kilroy making the first mistake of the game, and that was an expensive mistake too, Course, Not no, going to be played. Yeah, no, it's Sydney competition there. with uh, Parramatta, Muller. Coming it back now very quickly to Norm Carr trying to spear through. Only about three metres out from the line. Cullen's into the dummy half position for the Magpies. Now it's a penalty. Well, Eddie Ward is being consistent. Of course, we saw a similar penalty going to uh, Brothers a little while ago, very early in the match. And Brett Ferguson there on that occasion stopping Norm Easy Carr. Easy penalty kick quickly. has kicked 60 out of 83 attempts this season. The breeze behind him, French's kick. And the flags are up, so the Magpies take first blood, leading 2-0. Behind the gap in South's defence. So, South's under a lot of pressure, leading 2-0. Bailey's into the dummy half position. Across to Foster. Foster sends that long pass out wide now to McElaine. McElaine changing position, zips through and finds the gap, and McElaine has scored the first try of the match. And brothers go to a lead of four points to two. Gary French and Norm Carr appealing for an obstruction there, but it's no use appealing for it. Shane McElaine wrapped in that, and because it was just too easy, really, they had numbers out here. It was actually it was one to one out here, but it was Shane McElaine who cut back on the inside. There was a couple of uh, South players there appealing for an obstruction, but I don't think there was any doubt at all that McElaine was nowhere near, and no one was obstructed, and brothers have scored a good try. And they've been applying plenty of pressure early in the match. It was one-to-one -one out here, and it was a long pass. That one there from Henry Foster that unsettled the South defence. There it was, the cross back on the inside. No one obstructed whatsoever, and a fair try to Brothers. Tim Dwyer attempting the conversion, 10 metres in from touch on the outer side of the field. He's kicked 46 out of 72 goal attempts this season. Tim Dwyer. Has to allow for that northeasterly breeze coming across the line of flight. There's the kick. It's a good kick. It's coming back with the breeze. Beautiful. Coming back against the breeze, and it's 6-2 to Brothers. Heavy tackle the top of the ball free. Now Meskell it is who runs the ball up and ran into a pretty powerhouse tackle as he ran into big Trevor Smith, the front row forward, who's taller and probably bigger than Meskell. This is Jackson breaking through, and Brothers defence pretty soft then. Only about 12 metres out from the line. Jackson really packed them there. Across to Cullen. Cullen sends it on to Trunk. Trunk. Uh, South could really smell a try coming up then as Tronk has pulled down about 12 metres out from the line. Cars there, on now to Muller. Muller trying to make his way through, still 10 metres out. They want Mal Meninga involved. He hasn't really been involved in the attack yet. Roach was the first man in for the tackle. There's Elias into the dummy half position. On to Cullen, further out now. There's Meninga. They're looking for the short pass to Tronk alongside, but couldn't unload. Meninga is walking then. He's got to get back and run onto it. Muller. French. And up goes the bomb on the final tackle. Kilroy's there and pushes the ball dead. Took a bit of a risk doing that as South came flying through, but Icky Belcher. Yeah, very risky that one because Joe wasn't in from touch, not that far off centre. The breeze behind him looks pretty good. And the flags are up. The brothers are leading South by six points to four. Maybe a little halfback certainly put his full weight into the lock forward stains and halfback Foster. And uh, now we've got front row Phelan. Making good ground all the time, South. Only 10 metres out from brothers' line. Could be some indication what's going to happen in the second half. Here's Muller. Muller crashing through. Can he get the ball down very close? Yes, he got the ball down. And Muller has scored. And South hit the front, leading by 10 points to six. 
Now, South have been relentless in their intent to get that ball up the middle of Brothers Ruck. They must feel that that's where their South strength lies, and of course they must feel they also as a, a defensive weakness in the Brothers uh, pack. And that's being shown up because they've made a lot of ground up the middle. As Arthur has just said, Chris Phelan has strolled away from the Ruck plenty of times, and just about every time picked up the five metres. Have a look at this from Eddie Muller. That was ten metres out from the line. Trevor Bailey ran beside him. That's not good enough from Bailey. And Joe Kuroi didn't hit with his shoulder. He just grabbed at him. And, uh, of course, Eddie Muller very, very keen to get the ball across. Have a look at him. Darts away from Dummy Half. Clears the marker. And that was Trevor Bailey. Trevor Bailey should have committed himself to the tackle there. Ran beside him. And then when Kilroy came in to make the tackle, it wasn't with the shoulder. It was only with the arm. And Muller just made it. Foster. There goes the bomb. Gittins. Oh, so well taken by uh, Ken Gittins and uh, just clears the line and that's it for half time with South leading by 10 points to 6 one try to each team in the goal kicking department French has kicked 3 out of 4 for South and for Brothers Dwyer 1 out of uh, 1 now in the scrums department Brothers have won those 3-0 the tight heads go to Brothers 2-0 the penalties to South 6-4 and the scrum penalties 2-0 to South leading by 10 points to 6 Costa French and uh, now second row John Elias. Slipping it back to Trump. Very neatly done from Elias. Back inside the Muller. Muller steaming up the middle, up to the quarter line. Got support there, but beautifully picked up then. Another support coming across, flicked across. Loose ball. Gittins tries to pick it up. Anyone's ball picked up by McElane. And the referee saying, play on. Well, South looking very up dangerous. Here it is again. Good bomb, this one from Greg Smith. Puts it right up under the six, gave plenty of time for his own team to put plenty of pressure on Belcher. Belcher actually got to it on his own though and should have uh, held this one. Went up nicely, took the ball, but then there was plenty of pressure. The ball pops up to Meninga and a chance for two points for Brothers. Twenty-five minutes left in the major semi-final. Tim Dwyer with this easy kick in front. South to leading by ten points to six. This is the major semi-final. The winner goes straight to the grand final and the loser has another chance next week against Wynnum Manley. There's the kick from Dwyer and the flags are up. So South lead brothers, 10 points to eight. And very nearly through. Half a metre out. Trevor Smith, the, the main tackler in there to stop Trump going through the score. South putting enormous pressure. Here's French, pushes away from one tackler. Gets it back inside now to Peter Jackson. Jackson trying to get it back to Cullen but couldn't do so nine metres out the line great defence Greg Smith is to turn uh, Gary French back inside South's leading by ten points to eight are trying to seal this game now as Muller comes across the front gives it to Meninga Meninga's legs taken from under him as Roach was in there for the tackle and uh, also Staines now it comes across to Cullen Cullen sends a long pass to Jackson Jackson sends it across to Wallace and Wallace puts the ball down there's the try that South have been looking for and South go to a lead of 14 points to six to eight oh. Paul Wallace finished it, but it's a great pass from Wayne Cullen and also from Jackson. That's the first time on the fifth tackle that South have run the ball. They've always put the ball up in the air. Brothers, I think, just waiting for it. Have a look at Cullen. They decided to run it here. He cuts out Scott Trunk and picks up Jackson. Jackson perfectly into the gap. And then Jackson, I thought he could have scored it himself, but elected to pop it over the top to uh, Paul Wallace. Wallace on the spot. He wasn't going to drop this one and puts it down for a four-pointer. Here it is again. That was the fifth tackle. There's Eddie Ward with his hand up, signalling the fifth tackle. The ball this time spread by the Magpies. Out on that right-hand side. Cut out Scott Trunk. Out to Jackson. Jackson into the gap. Found uh, Brothers in no man's land, really. And Wallace unmarked then with Ken Gittins also in support. Gary French attempting the conversion. He's kicked three out of four. This one is four metres in from touch. French's kick. Pretty good kick, look at it, it's going right over, no, under, didn't get over the crossbar, not quite the legs, and so South's lead, 14-8 still. for uh, South. Chris Phelan and Mark Meskell have also had top games, but the man for South that I really think did the job, the Winfield Cup man of the match, there he is, the big league man of the match, Peter Jackson. Outstanding young centre, I thought he had one of his best games today. Defence, he was in everything, Peter Jackson. He made 11 tackles even out wide, Peter Jackson, and also some of his great running in attack. So good work from Jackson and a good effort from South, they look like running out winners. About a minute and a half left, South 30 metres out from Brothers Line, Norm Carr to play the ball back, there's Belcher, the fullback. South's intent on holding the ball, that's all they've got to do, leading by 14 points to eight. 
And they should go straight to the grand final in a fortnight's time. It's been a knock-on, though. It's the last chance for Brothers. Only a minute and a half to go. Been some good efforts from Brothers, too. You can't get a good match without having two good sides. Great defensive efforts. Trevor Smith, while he was on there, made 19. Brett Ferguson also in the front row, 14. Rate 16. Dan Stain 16. So there's been some good defensive efforts. There's also been some very strong ones. I thought his opposing number in the centres, Tim DeWire, a top game, too. And Brothers not dead yet. That's good. Bly Davidson, one of the replacement players on the field, as Smith sends the pass across then to Staines, Staines then to Carter, and Carter almost looked as if he was in front, but uh, must have been a photo finish, close up towards the halfway mark now. The teams that Brothers will be going on next week to play Wynnum Manley in the preliminary final here at Lang Park. A lot of football here next week, the first game starts at half past nine, and finals right through until the preliminary final starting at 3.15 next week, just a little bit later next week. Joe Kilroy in possession, just over the halfway mark. Half a minute to go. South's leading by 14 points to eight and have scored two tries to one as it switched across to Greg Smith. Sees his support was covered. Gets going. The pass goes back to no one. Picked up by Bly Davidson. The last tackle. Davidson to play it back. There's the kick coming from Dwyer. It's a beauty. And pushed back. Meskell picked it up. And it's South in possession. And that should be about the ball game now. Yeah, that should be the ball game. Greg Smith and Henry Foster have also played very, very well for Dallas this afternoon. They're going to do it tough against Wynnum, though. And that's Gittins, and there's the full-time hooter sounding. <coughs> and the game's all over. Souths have beaten Brothers by 14 points to eight, scoring two tries to one. Tries for Souths, scored by Eddie Muller and Paul Wallace. Try for Brothers by Shane McElaine. In the goal-kicking department, French kicked three out of five for Souths, and Dwyer, two out of two, for brothers the first scorers in the match six for Souths it was Gary French and five for brothers Shane McElaine six and five the first scorer of Souths and brothers respectively in the scrums scrums favored brothers six three the tight heads finished at two all the penalties went ten nine to brothers and the uh, scrum penalties two one to South so that's it Souths have won the major semi-final and now advanced to the grand final in a fortnight's time beating brothers by 14 points to eight Put a failure in the street, and so I, I plonked some hairspray on it to sit it down, and then everything's gone wrong since then. <laughs>